We are here with Kohei to talk about uh, creating that Mac OS uh, like developer experience with the combination of WSL2, Windows Terminal, and VS Code with uh, Docker Desktop. Uh, with that, I'll hand it off to you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I will be talking about how to develop, uh, build up the Mac OS like developer experience uh, on top of your Windows Home or Windows Professional uh, using WSO2, Windows Terminal, uh, Visual Studio Code, and Docker Desktop. I am quick, quickly introducing myself. I am Kohei. Uh, my name on GitHub is Inductor, and Twitter is also Inductor, but with underscores. Uh, I belong to Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I work as a solution a solutions architect of cloud native technologies. And I'm also a CNCF ambassador. And I will be talking about these topics today. I I share my definition of what is macOS like developer experience, and also uh, I will quickly introduction uh, give you the introduction of uh, what tools I used. I mean, I introduced in the title first, but like, especially where they cover. I, I've, I have encountered some issues, uh, in real world. Yeah. I will also share the issues and how to solve them. Also, uh, because all the tools are customizable really flexibly. So I will share how I customize them. Yeah. This is also important, uh, that, uh, this talk does not cover, uh, what are WSL and WSL2. Uh, I mean, you're, you're here at WSL Conf, so I believe you guys know the basic about it. So I will just skip it. And also, uh, I'm not talking about how to use macOS and how to use Docker. Yeah. The first topic I will share what is macOS like developer experience for me. So these topics, these, these are my definitions. Uh, so first is that, uh, it runs shell natively so like bash like Zest shell whatever yeah and also uh it uh, it should include some sort of like uh ide and filer integration so in macOS you can use filer uh using finder right so yeah that's what i'm talking about and also oh yeah easy tab management just like browsers uh because uh the classic uh common line prompts like powershell and cmd.exe they don't have tabs so yeah i wanted something like that uh and you know it also should be easy to uh play with uh, just like google chrome or edge any other browsers i also wanted a better copy and paste experience uh because on cmd uh, you can't use, you know, control C and V. So I, I wanted to use it easily. Um, yeah, uh, of course, uh, Windows has the chocolatey, uh, but this time we will use bash. So I wanted, uh, uh, I wanted to use some sort of like other package management. Um, I will quickly introduce that, introduce that too. And yeah, of course, uh, using Docker, you can run your code really easily. So I will quickly, uh, tell you how to do that too. So uh, each uh, features are covered by these technologies. So WSL2, VS Code, Windows Terminal, and using Homebrew on Linux and Docker Desktop. Uh, I will show you the quick demo right now. Uh, I hope you can see my screen now. So like, for example, uh, this is a demo application that I, I, I have here. So like, for example, if you want to open the Docker file, you can use the code command on my bash. And, oh, it actually opened my other tab. Yeah, so you can see the Docker file, right? And also if you open with code dots, it opens the whole directory, right? Uh, you can see, files just like on on your shell and also uh if you ever want to open this uh the whole folder not just the code you want to see it on your explorer uh i'll do it again 
Yeah, so yeah, you can just open it here. This is uh, one of the things I implemented quickly as well. Uh, it's really fun. Uh, it's not. It's not that complicated. It's just one line shell integration. So I, I will share with this as well. Yeah. So uh, Docker is running here too, as you guys know. So if you build the Docker, yeah, it just starts building the application. Then it will run on your uh, terminal. Then, like for example. Now, and this application is running on your environment, right? So now uh, we can see the application is running on your browser. Yeah, yeah, that was a quick demo. And here is the some some comparison table uh, that I can share, uh, like macOS versus Windows. So for shell environment and ID integration, macOS pretty much has them, it has them as native feature. Uh, but I used Windows, uh, on Windows, uh, WC2 and VS Code plus bash script. Uh, tab management, you can use terminal up or item two on macOS. Uh, this time I used uh, Windows terminal with some, uh, some config added. And for package management, I just use Homebrew uh, because I, I, I'm a really, really lazy person. So I, I also use dot files and saved it on Git. Uh, I will share about it uh, more uh, detailed later. And um, yeah, uh, for Docker, uh, I use both Docker desktop. So first, IDE and filter integration. So VS Code Remote uh, supports uh, WC2. Uh, uh, since the end of 2019, so you can just install it. And uh, then installing the extension, uh, you can use it natively. And you can also uh, set the code integration, I mean, code command integration on your bash, uh, just by setting a few things on VS Code. Yeah, and there are also uh, other uh, IDEs that support WSO2, for example, JetBrains families, like, you know, IntelliJ or PHP Storm, whatever you use, like WebStorm, they are uh, typical, uh, you know, famous ones uh, that is developed, that are developed by JetBrains. They also have uh, WSO2 support, uh, so you can use it as well. So uh, this is uh, what I did in order to implement the open command in WSO2. So, um, actually, on WSU2, oh, the demo was still running. Uh, you can use Windows commands like notepad.exe. It runs notepad, right? So I, I used PowerShell this time. And using this option, uh, hyphen C start, uh, you can open your command, I uh, know your file or like uh, any directories you specify after as the argument. So that's how I did it. So I hope open, for example, there's Oh yeah, because they don't support this path on Windows. Yeah, that was my mistake. But like, you can op open your folder on your Explorer just by specifying on open dot, or even open dot this slash should work there. Oh no, it doesn't. Oops, open dot works. So that's fine. Oh, I think if you specify the cross platform PowerShell, you can use it too. And for easy tab management, uh, Windows Terminal is a new terminal officially developed by Microsoft. And it also supports, uh, PowerShell and CMD other than Microsoft, uh, I mean, WC2. Like, uh, here are some options I, I added. So Ubuntu, PowerShell, Windows, uh, PowerShell, uh, so, 
the PowerShell is the newer one, and the Windows PowerShell is the classic one. And Command Prompt and Azure Cloud Shell. Yeah, they, they are the options I added here. And it's also uh, open on GitHub, so you can contribute or uh, file an issue if you encounter something. And you can easily install it on Microsoft Store. You can also customize Windows Terminal uh, because all settings are configurable on your setting.json. So if you go on here, yeah, you set a bunch of like options, right? So you can set it here. Uh, here is an example of what I did here. So uh, you can add the Ubuntu like as WSL2. Uh, but I think uh, in the initial initial option doesn't have the starting directory, uh, which is uh, an essential for me because I wanted to open uh, my home directory on Linux. Uh, but uh, initially, it opens the Windows file system, so I changed the the path uh, setting by setting this, and I, and I also added my favorite font, Powerline font, so that I can use the uh starship uh which is like the customized bash environment and also you can set the key bindings as much as you want uh there are several options that you can use as an action uh, so for, for example for copy uh i use the control c you know the classic one and paste for control v uh, bro uh close tab new tab uh, uh, control WNT, which is the same key bindings as uh, the uh, browsers. And for package management, um, yeah, so actually, Homebrew has known as a macOS package manager, but it also supports Linux too, uh, because it had integrated the Linux brew. I think last year, yeah. So yeah, you can use Linux, uh, Homebrew, and it also supports WSL2. And even as a better uh, option or like better news, uh, you can now install Homebrew without uh, any dependency because uh, it runs on pure bash, the install script. And Brew contains uh, its own portable Ruby. Uh, so you don't need anything uh, in the in order to install Homebrew, uh, except Git. Yeah, I think you need Git. Yeah, and yeah, dot files is also a good option to save your configs. So here is my dot files. So for example, I have bashrc here. You know, like. And bin has like some like useful git command. Uh, this is like git sync. Uh, like if so, if you type git sync, you can sync uh, really easily, like without uh, typing git pull on each branch you want to update. And here are some installation scripts for things general things like homebrew installation and this is like for a mac but like brew cask installation it, i had like a lot of uh, softwares i wanted on my macbook uh, but you can uh, also perform the installation on your uh 2 as well so yeah this is like brings you the portability of the environment as long as you have the WSL2. And it says config, git ignore. Yeah, everything is here. And yeah, um, run code quickly and easily. Uh, Docker Edge uh, now supports uh, older versions of Windows, uh, such as uh, Windows Home uh, 1903 and 1909. So even though, uh, your update doesn't have the like later than 20 something, uh, you can still uh, use WSL2 and Docker on such environments.
And I would personally recommend Edge Channel on Docker because it has a lot of like new features and performance fixes uh, come comes more often. And you can also set uh, developing inside container integration on VS Code really easily. Uh, that's an option. Uh, I, I'm not actually using it because I'm more a uh, shell person. Uh, but if you like a uh, GUI, you can set it like that too. So as for the real world issues, mm, yeah, I, I've encountered several uh, which are pretty famous. Um, so one is memory usage explosion in WSO2. So like it actually eats a lot of memory on your computer and it hasn't fixed yet. Uh, as the workaround, you can set WC config in user profile dot WC config. It's actually in Windows file system. So you have to open it on your Windows, I think, or you can also, uh, open it too, but like a lot of uh, settings are here. You can see it in the documentation. And the second problem is file system performance. Uh, so if you open the Windows file system, uh, it's really slow is basically what it says. Uh, so far, the best workaround right now is not to use Windows file system uh, because VS Code Remote and Docker and ID integration, um, you can just use the Linux file system right now. And I, I also recommend the open command uh, to support um, the Explorer as well. Yeah. So the key takeaways here is Windows has become more developer friendly and it's really nice to have a workstation that both uh, of my favorite softwares work, Age of Empires 2, which is a really good game by Microsoft and Docker. And when WS2 has still uh, some problems, but I think it's enough to use uh, even compared to Mac OS uh, for de web development. And the Windows terminal key bindings are really powerful and you should use it. And uh, WSO2 networking and fast system sharing is really convenient so that you can use Explorer and Windows like browsers uh, for your Linux file system. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. No, thank you. That's great. Um, one question before we turn to Carlos. What inspired you to switch from Mac OS um, to giving WSL a try? Oh, uh, I have several reasons, but the biggest reason is I changed my job to HP from a uh, Japanese uh, fashion tech company. Uh, uh, I, I used to use Mac for development because I ordered uh, at the previous company, but now I use Windows. So I wanted to do something like ha hacking. And I found these uh, workarounds and it works actually really great. And I think I, I'm, I'm actually more comfortable now because I can play League of Legends and <laughs> like, like, you know, Windows games. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.